The private key never leaves the hardware wallet. Why does it matter to update the device for security and safety? Why does it matter to update the device? It doesn't really. In fact, I often store mnemonic phrases without a hardware wallet at all. I generate it, I send funds to it, I wipe the hardware wallet, and then I only have the backup. The reason you might want to update the firmware on the hardware wallet is because from time to time vulnerabilities are discovered that could allow someone to access the mnemonic phrase off your hardware wallet if they have physical possession. These include side channel leaks and attacks, timing attacks and things like that. And so newer versions of the firmware for each of these devices um, create countermeasures for these types of attacks. I'll give you a really good example. If you look at the latest version of uh, a Trezor original hardware wallet versus the oldest one, you will notice that when it shows you a mnemonic phrase on screen, the letters are contrasted against the white background with variable length lines that create a weird pattern on your screen. Turns out it had a side channel leak where if you measured the timing and the electrical interference generated by the screen, you could actually read what was on it by sticking an oscilloscope on its power supply because the power draw to draw different letters was different. So they made sure that every line and every column has the same number of pixels lit by adding white pixels that do nothing around the letter. And what that does is it ensures that you cannot tell anymore from the power supply and an oscilloscope. Now it's a really extreme example, but most of the firmware updates are either to improve features, but mostly to increase security by fixing vulnerabilities, and fixing edge cases that might be used to compromise your hardware wallet. So that's one reason why you would update it. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to support me, please consider subscribing to my channel and supporting me on patreon.com.